Thanks so much for joining me. I have had a long day. But I'm here with my boy. And a fire. And some tea. I didn't actually read to see what this says tonight. But I went with a Spicy and sweet, good earth tea. Oh, this looks good. Jimi Hendrix. Here, I'll let you read it. We have to go on or be crazy. Craziness is okay. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, geez. In honor of the party tonight, or that's what I'm calling it. But we had a stay alive party at at my house. I'm, I'm still alive. I'm sorry. I'm still alive party for those of you guys who don't realize um, that I've got blood clots. So I do. And I've got two, one in my chest and one in my leg. So that's why I got my little bracelet on because they're like, it ain't kind of serious. You might want to wear that for a couple of days. At least until we can get the Lovenox injections kind of in my system and doing their thing. Um, Anyway, so I have this lovely mug with Jimi Hendrix and this good earth tea. And it, I'm, I'm sure everybody's had that. I would say everybody, not everybody, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have had the good earth uh, sweet and spicy. It's been around forever. Oh, let me see. I think. Boy child is all spice. I mean, teed out for the night because we had tea at this party as well. But it's organic, caffeine-free herbal tea. Natural sweet flavors and spice notes play, play mysteriously together for any of you guys who are in a different country and have not uh, had this. Eight ounces of boiling water, one tea bag, three to four minutes. I don't think I realized that that was supposed to be for eight ounces, but ooh, I guess most of them aren't, and that's what it looks like. Um, so yeah, check it out. It's kind of a good go-to. Let's see. Oh, it has Rubio's, organic Rubio's, cinnamon, chicory root, rose hips, lemongrass, uh, chamomile, Cassia oil, C-A-S-S-I-A, -S peppermint, orange, ginger root, honey brush, and orange peel. So, anyway, my little boy is here to join me because he goes to his, his Padre's house tomorrow. So, he won't be here to do tea time with me. We're supposed to do a father, a father, a mother, son tea. But he's just going to join me tonight and we're not going to have him using the bathroom all night with the irritant. So anyhow, I just want to say thank you so much for coming, for everybody who was able to come tonight. And for those who couldn't, thanks for all your wonderful messages. They're great. I truly appreciate you trying. I truly appreciate your messages. Yeah. I appreciate you caring. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to have such a great group of friends. And the support from my little boy, he was, we kept it easy, simple, left things inside of their, their containers. And Carrie, I learned something new about you tonight. I was giving somebody credit for your, um, your efforts to save the, the planet and cut back on waste. So again, with the use of my, my Raven's cup for camp out and tonight that goes in your honor is I decided to keep things in the containers that they came in so that one, I didn't have to be washing a whole bunch of dishes and I don't feel good and putting stuff off on kids that didn't have a party. So um, thank you Aunt Janice for stepping in and washing those dishes that were made. I appreciate that. Don't you? <laughs> okay, that's all, thank you. Thanks Aunt Janice. All right now. Um, yeah, so it was good that I got a couple questions about what happened. 
uh, with blood clots. Blood clots are not something they kind of really know what happens. It just, they're guessing. And it's like, okay, get a start in your leg. It's really just a guess. If people ask how you're doing, still got the blood clots. But I'm still chugga 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 choo choo. I'm, dude, I got another freaking shot. I need, I got another shot of life. Like, I keep trying to be like, oh, I'm so sad. And I need you for those times. I really do. I'm not going to play with you. When those times are sad like that, they are hard. I don't last for them long. I don't stay there. But it's like, well, I could be sad because I'm dying, but I'm still living. Everybody's dying. Ain't it? That's pretty cool. Technically. I didn't get hit by a bus today. I drove my car, didn't get in a car accident. What is the statistics on that, son? Do you know how many people get hit by cars every day? I think. Yeah. Dozens. Like Quite high. Definitely more than planes. How many birds get hit by planes? <laughs> oh, not the birds. We gotta talk to those pilots. What are they doing up there? Killing birds? Son? There's one 350 miles per hour. It's a little, it's a little difficult to see a bird. <laughs> Don't get me started. Because then I want to know, like, what's the different word? Never mind. The speed is where I was going with those of you who were into that whole science numbers thing. I was trying to calculate the speed and what it changes, the impact, what it looks like with the bird. Or with me. Don't. I don't want to. I definitely don't want to. I knew it was going to do it anyway. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm sweating. This tea next to this fire is straight up a good combination for me. I was cold. My foot was hurting. Look at this thing. It's just like... <laughs> it's just so... It's just not happy. It's looking at me like some girls be looking at me at the Walmart down there right now. What's she doing? I kind of don't like her, but I kind of do. She looks kind of like a character of some sort. <laughs> and you know what? I have my headphones in, y'all. Y'all know I'll be mobbing. Anyway. Oh, I want to show them those, those flowers. Anyway, you can't even really see my makeup, but I put this stuff on so quick. I just bought some flowers. I wanted to buy my own flowers because I always wanted flowers delivered. And I never ever got flowers delivered. And so I thought I should do that for myself. But since I didn't have time and I wanted them today, I just went ahead and bought them from PCC. So strange to just buy yourself some nice, beautiful flowers. And then I decided hmm, I've not put makeup on. I have no clue what I'm wearing. It doesn't really matter because the party starts in like 30 minutes and I'm really at PCC. That's how I do. She's like, we're going to clean the toilet and the mirror and kind of like the kitchen. She's like, can clean the kitchen. And then we're done. Because I figured the house is a mess, but the way my friends roll, they'll clean it. If they don't like what it's looking like and they feel like I need some help, they'll get in there like Janice was like, oh, Jesus, sir, these dishes. Let me go and knock this down. I know you didn't say that, but you were trying to help. So you did. You want to come over tomorrow? She want to come over tomorrow and help. I got some paint that needs to be done. Anybody want to come paint? Huh? I don't understand your eyes. I don't know. That feels good. That heat feels so good. And block the fire for somebody who's trying to get their their flame on. I know, son. He actually is not using a dura flame. He created that fire for those of my girls who love to play with the fire. Every time we go to camping trips, somebody always got to be in charge of the fire. But everybody is like the best at it. Just so you guys know, everybody thinks that we're the best at it, but we're all we're right. We are all the best at it. Kyle says he's the best. I'm not going to win. 
But we can just all be good at it. I just like to work with Irish. I think everybody does. It's a passion. Maybe not everybody, but somebody. Most people. You guys, my little bird, he's been amazing. This has been a stressful, stressful week. And this little boy here has really been on my side. I'm happy to have my little bird back. He feels like my, my little guy. Gentle, strong, show me muscle, son. He want to show his muscles. Go on and give it to him. Bam. <laughs> He said he worked hard at that. I told him, don't be showing off muscles. He said, you let me show off my my grades. And I worked at both of these. I was like, well, here's my fun time. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I told you guys I was going to sing. I don't know the words to that. That part. But I do know this part. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. <laughs> That's what it says. You got to talk to your kids about sex, you guys. Actually, you got to talk to your spouses, too, and your friends and your family. And, like, so anyway, that song, sorry. Come up with, say hi, Linda. This is my little angel baby. She's so smart, you guys. She was just like, Mom, you're dying. Go. Go on to the doctor. Tell him. He's like, go to the doctor, Mom. And me and Kyle were like, yeah, we better go. But, you know, I went to sleep. Then I took him to school. And then went on to the hospital. I was like, okay, check me out. Because my son is at school. And I only, like, got a couple hours. And they were like, <laughs> okay. I'm sure you're fine. So, we're going to have to put you in the hospital a little bit. Yeah, okay. So, we were just messing around. We just wanted to recap on the night. Um, say good night. And say thank you again for being there for me. Thank you for supporting this little boy's mother. I'm not sure what's going on there. It's like a little background. <laughs> Is there something you want to say to me? Yeah, I'm showing me your little dimples. That's the first thing the nurse noticed about her little dimples. I wonder if they actually show from the side. I've never been able to figure out where. I wonder why dimples are an accepted deformity. Society, nobody's like, ooh, look at her dimples. Ooh, she got them dimples. Ooh, you know that girl got them dimples. No, they just like them. Yeah, it was like a mole spot. No, but if we say deformity, there's well, all I'm sorts of deformities that people judge and look down on. Like, ooh. But dimples are cute. I think they're just different. It's just a, a little indentation in your face. Now, you put that same indentation on your leg, and then they say you got cellulite. But that's not cute, according to them. It's kind of weird. Mine is cute. This is who I am. And I think I'm a little cute. Yeah, well, if you're into that, I think I'm just me. I'm just me. I don't even need to be cute. I just accept it how it is. Dimples. Mustache. Beard. <laughs> Too. I think it was crazy. Bitch, you crazy. Don't get cute on the no, stage. Seriously. Mm. See that? No, I still don't see that. You crazy. You crazy. Y'all know y'all see this. You know what it looks like. You trying to get brand new. You want me to go back for a third look? No. I Not <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> He's like, Mom, what are you saying? They all got mustaches. No, no. I mean, chin is nothing there. Chinny, chan, chin. Guess. So, he brings up, uh, or I bring up a good point with this chin and hair. So, I also have polycystic ovarian syndrome. 
And a lot of times that's one of the first signs that help you to notice that um, is all that hair growth. So if you are experiencing lots of hair growth in combination with excess weight gain, you may be experiencing PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Check with a doctor near you. Actually check with the computer first, do a little research, and then find out if you need to even call anybody. But you may be. I mean, I see women with hairs all the time, and a lot of times um, they're struggling with conceiving as well. And that's one of the signs of that, um, or one of the symptoms, side effects, or something like that, is having difficulty um, conceiving. So look into it if you do, and if you got diabetes, make sure that you realize that sometimes the treatment for that is the same. With metformin, they'll treat the diabetes and polycystic ovarian syndrome. I don't know who needed to hear that, so I just threw it out there. Um, but that's it. Looks like that's our show. Dogs are done with it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Girls, girls, have a good night.